Hi friends, it's Cricut, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own awesome um, solar oven out of a shoebox. Okay, so it looks like this when it's done. It's amazing. We're going to harness the sun's energy. All right, so to start, you need a shoebox. And the shoeboxes, I would recommend using a regular adult size shoebox, the kids size shoebox. They work, but they don't work as well because you don't get as much of the sun's energy harness. All right, so you need a shoebox. You need tin foil. You need saran wrap and um, uh, tape, scotch tape. You're going to need um, black construction paper or any black paper works and scissors or a box cutter, my older friends, ruler and toothpicks. Okay, I think that's it. I think I covered everything that you had in your box when you got your package. Okay, on your box, for my friends who already picked one up, um, I drew a square on your box, but when you're making it, if you want to make it again with a different box, you're going to make it so like it's maybe like an inch and a half um, left when you cut the hole out, and maybe like an inch or an inch and a half on top. And so you're going to um, cut your lid for time I have one pre-cut because it takes too long so I drew the square and then I cut out the sides I bent this line and for my friends at home who got the written instructions I wrote it wrong I said cut the hole out you're not you're only cutting the sides so it opens like this so you're gonna have a flap so and then I fold it on the line so you cut it out you have a hole it's about it doesn't have to be perfect so I opened it and now you're going to line this entire inside of this box, including the flap, with tin foil. So tin foil, and in your box they give you a ton of tin foil. Hopefully I gave you extra. I tried to give everybody extra. So tin foil is really easy. You just start lining in, you start pushing it in, and you might want to have a little bit hanging over the edge because it's easy to um, get it to hang on. You can um, tape it. If it rips, it's okay. You can take like little pieces of this and like cover holes so every piece of inside of your box is covered so, and you're doing it the shiny side out not the dull side you want the shiny side because what you're doing is you're reflecting the sun's energy onto whatever food you're going to have you're going to be cooking inside your box so you're going to line the whole inside of your box shiny side out with tin foil okay so it's going to Look like this. So you have it all lined inside. So all the walls. You don't have to worry about this side. So the entire wall of your solar oven is lined with tin foil. And if it's all crinkled and ripped and overlapped and little spots aren't covered, that's okay. So, and then you want the flap covered. All right. So you have your whole inside of your box lined with tin foil. You are going to use black construction paper or really anything black at the bottom and you're going to cut your paper and you're going to line the bottom of the black so now what you're doing with your solar oven the tin foil is going to be reflecting the sun's energy onto your food and the black for all our friends know about um, colors color is energy waves and what is black black is all the colors so it, it's absorbing all the energy waves it's absorbing all the heat so that's why you use black Black is always the hottest thing. If you ever wear black in the summer, it's hot because it absorbs all the energy. So you put black right there. You're going to take whatever food item. And I'm going to say I'm going to, um, I'm going to cook my duck roll. <laughs> I'm just ready to see. So you put your food item right there in the middle. Once your food is in, I put saran wrap in your package. I try to keep it as flat as I possibly could if it got all bunched up. I'm so sorry. Saran wrap's kind of a nightmare. All right, so you're going to take your saran wrap. See, I'm already having problems with it. And you're going to cover the hole. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then this is where you probably want to get your duct tape and duct tape your saran wrap. So I have my food in there and I'm putting the saran wrap. What is the saran wrap doing? Why do you use it? That's your insulator. It's going to insulate the heat. So the heat from the sun is traveling inside your box. The, um, 
the tin foil is reflecting it and centering it on your food and the black is absorbing all the energy the saran wrap is keeping it hot inside so it's going to make it even hotter so that's why you have saran wrap all right so you have your food in there all ready to go you're going to take it outside on a sunny day you're going to face your box toward the sun so your flap is going to be facing at the sun so you're going to angle it so your flap is going to be sitting like this and it's not sitting there right now but i'm going to show you how to fix it so if your sun if your flap is kind of angled down a little bit you want the sun's direct um beam to hit it and you want the sun you want this um, reflection angled right at your food so that's how you're going to position your box somewhere in the sun so you want it to be facing and you might need to check your food because it's probably going to take a couple hours you're going to want to check your food periodically through the day and you're going to want to keep moving your box so it's always the flap is always facing the sun and angling it down okay so my flap doesn't want to stay most likely yours is not going to either in your bag i gave you toothpicks so what you're going to do is you're going to take your toothpicks and kind of angle them and then you're going to take your duct tape and you're going to tape your toothpicks on there. So this is what your box is, is going to look like. So I'm going to show you real fast with the scotch tape how to do that. Because this is the one that maybe it's like, how do I get the, the toothpick to stay? All right. So kind of hold it there with my finger. <laughs> having the best luck with the scotch tape. I made my piece too big. It's too big. It's getting all stuck on my fingers. Don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> do what I say. <laughs> anyway, you're going to wrap the duct tape around the um around the toothpick and then tape it on there. And you're gonna do the same thing with the bottom. Anyway, you're gonna figure it out. <laughs> you're gonna do that with the toothpick and the duct tape. So you're gonna have two toothpicks holding it. All right, okay, you guys, this is classic cricket right here. <laughs> Messing it up. All right, so that's it. So that's what you're gonna have. And then once you have your food item, I gave you three pieces of um, black paper. So when you're done with your saran wrap, you can try to save it. You can't, that's just how it goes. Um, you can take your um, paper out and um, you can reuse it or you can just throw it away. And I don't think I clarified with the black paper. You want the black paper to cover almost the complete bottom of the shoe box. Okay, that's it. That's your um, your solar oven. And I get on your paper, I gave you a list of all the food you can make with it. S'mores, bananas, fosters, uh, frozen cookie dough, frozen pizza, uh, nachos. You can melt caramel on apple slices. So delicious. You can do all kinds of really fun stuff. You can look up a bunch of recipes online. All right, you guys. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too confusing. And I hope you have a lot of fun with your solar oven. I can't wait to hear what you guys are cooking with it. I miss everybody. I can't wait to see you. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Bye. <laughs>